So in this video, I want to talk about um, the subtle differences between position, displacement, and distance. So three things that you might consider as synonymous with one another, but we need to be very careful with what these things mean. Okay. So let's say, for example, okay, we just look at a one-dimensional problem where here is the origin, okay, and from the origin, that is where I measure position. And let's say that I've got uh, this person here, okay, who is stood 10 metres away from the origin. So, there's your 10 metres. So then, if we think about uh, the person's position at the moment, uh, we would say that it is 10 metres away from the origin. So then let's say that he starts walking, OK? And what they do is they, first of all, walk uh, 5 metres in this direction, OK? And then uh, they walk back... Uh, let's say, seven metres in this direction, OK? And end up in this position here, OK? So that would put them uh, at eight metres away from the origin, OK? So now let's have a think about these different ideas, position, displacement and distance. Now, the position of the person after they have made this travel, so gone five metres this way and then seven metres back again, their position is now eight metres away from the origin. Their displacement can be measured from anywhere. Okay, So their displacement is a vector quantity that tells you how, um, where they are in relation to potentially where they started. OK, so if the person started there, then they are now two metres back. Um, so in the negative direction, if we take that as negative and that as positive, OK, they would be minus two metres away from their original position. OK, so displacement can be measured from anywhere, whereas position is measured from the origin or uh, some other defined position. Now, the distance talks about how far they've actually travelled. OK, so the distance is that this person has walked five metres this way and then seven metres this way. So their distance is actually 12 metres. They've covered 12 metres in, um, in that effort, right? So the displacement could be measured as minus 2 metres, OK, because we're 2 metres back. The distance is 12 metres, because it's the total distance that has been covered. And the position could be written as 8 metres, because it's 8 metres final, where they finally ended up away from the origin.